Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Disney may be shifting all their focus on Star Wars from the movies to the TV shows. Rumor has it, and this is a rumor because it's not confirmed, but it's from WeGotThisCovered.com. They say that Ewan McGregor is set to return for an Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Now, what we do know about the TV shows for Star Wars so far is that we have confirmed that there is a Mandalorian show coming out later this year, Cast and Andor show, which is beginning production later this year and likely will come out next year, and there's also a third live-action show that they have not announced that it has no title. We don't know what it's about, who it's about. Well, we got this covered as saying that it's a Kenobi series, the Kenobi TV show, and it's not outside the realm of possibilities. I've heard some stuff about this a month, maybe two months ago, but I, I, I was skeptical then. I'm still skeptical now because we got this covered. Also put out another article that same day saying that Lucasfilm was developing a Boba Fett TV show for Disney+. Plus. And I find that one a lot less likely than I do the Kenobi one. And the reason I, I think this one is a lot less likely is because you're already having a show called The Mandalorian come out. Bringing out another character like Boba Fett and giving him his own show in that same time frame, for me, I completely get it, and I know a lot of the fans would be on board, but I think casual audiences and casual fans will be a little confused. You have one guy who looks like Boba Fett, and then you have Boba Fett, and they're not going to know who the... And they're going to be like, oh, this guy's the Mandalorian. I thought Boba Fett was a Mandalorian. And, and then you have to explain to him, no, it's not a Mandalorian. It, there's a lot of confusion, I think, that would happen if they do the Boba Fett movie too soon. Or not even the movie, the show too soon. I don't think they're going to do a Boba Fett show for the Disney Plus streaming service. The Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan Kenobi one, that's something that we've been waiting for for a while. We've been saying that we've wanted a Obi-Wan standalone film. And it looks like they may be going into the TV show route instead. I think that's a safer route for them in terms of money. There's not the potential of the film being a flop in the box office, but I think with high risk, you have high reward, just with anything, and I think that if you're really going to do something to please the fans, and you're going to bring Obi-Wan back, bring him back in a movie. I think there's less risk involved with that. I think if you do a film between episodes three and four about Obi-Wan Kenobi, and have you and McGregor just go off and do some random adventure, just a one-time thing that adds a little bit more to his story, because if you do a show and every episode is a different story or every season is a different story that Obi-Wan has to deal with, you have the potential of unfortunately ruining the character. And I hate to be negative like that and I hate to say that, oh, they're going to ruin Obi-Wan because I don't think they are. But you have the potential to ruin a fan favorite character like that with countless people coming in and getting involved with the story in the show. I don't know who's going to write the show. I don't know who's going to direct it. Is it going to be like The Mandalorian where you have a bunch of different directors coming in and directing, but it's all coming from John Favreau's creative mind in terms of writing? There's a lot of variables that come into these shows, and I think if you do too much and you give a Kenobi series and you give it three seasons, that, that has potential to diminish the character and the impact of the character that has over the entire saga. Like I said, I want to get to something new in the Star Wars franchise. One of the reasons I think they would lean more towards an Obi-Wan Kenobi show compared to a Boba Fett show is because if you look at the trend that they're going on, I feel like they're actually listening to the fans a little bit more when it comes to this stuff. A lot of people were saying they miss the original trilogy feel, they miss the magic of that, and they want something new and creative in Star Wars. And now we're getting The Mandalorian, which I will admit looks like a fan service kind of show where it's about cool people like the Mandalorians, who people like, people like Mandalorians, I've always been a big fan of that. You have that, it's made by someone who's a fan of Star Wars, like John Favreau, and they're bringing in fan favorites of Star Wars. They're bringing in people like Dave Filoni to work on it. Taika Watiti, I believe is how you say his name, from Thor Ragnarok. Those are talented people to bring in for this. So there's room to grow in terms of story and potential that we have with The Mandalorian. Cassian Andor is coming off the Rogue One movie. And a lot of people liked Rogue One. My biggest complaint about it was the characters. And ironically, Cassian Andor was the character whose name I completely forgot constantly. But now he's getting his own show. And reason being is because there's a lot of good reaction to Rogue One. And I think because of that, they said, all right, people like this era. They like the original trilogy. We're going to stick with Cassian Andor and give them that original trilogy feel. And that's a fan pleaser. Then you come in with this third show, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, which comes out after Cassian Andor, after The Mandalorian, but takes place in time before both of them. Because if you're going to do a Boba Fett show, you have to do it after episode six. You can't do it before it. You can't do any other time but after episode 6. I don't think it'd be a good idea to do anything but the timeline after episode 6 for a Boba Fett show. So I think with Obi-Wan and Cassidy Andor and The Mandalorian, I think those are the three shows that will be coming out in the future for Star Wars. I'm not 110% on this Kenobi show. I'm not going to guarantee it and say, hey, this is the one. But out of the two, 
out of the Kenobi and the Boba Fett one, I think the Kenobi is a smarter route, safer route. But I also think it's a risky route for the Kenobi story. I think Kenobi should have his own movie. You just do it one more time, one time and done. You know, one spinoff for it. And, and that would also test the waters on a spinoff film and see how the audience reacts to the spinoff films. Because we liked Rogue One, but a lot of people didn't like Solo. Or more or less, a lot of people just didn't go see Solo. So you have that aspect of which way should we go? Should we go for a movie with these two characters or should we go for a show? Don't forget that in the past, a Boba Fett movie was almost going to come out. We were going to have a trailer for it, I believe, back in 2015. But they, they pulled it last second. And the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie had been in, almost in production. Everything was getting set up. I, I had gone through many sources. And many people were saying that that was almost there. It was almost a full-fledged movie coming out. But they canceled it, it seems. Pulled the plug on it right after the flop of Solo, A Star Wars Story. So you have these interesting factors that will... Uh, definitely play their part in the future of Star Wars. So tell me your thoughts below. What do you think? Do you think we're going to get an Obi-Wan show? Do you think we're going to get a Boba Fett show? Or do you think they should be movies instead? Tell me your thoughts. Which one do you want and why do you want it? I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you all next time. May the Force be with you always.